Hello and welcome to another video! So, today I am doing not a highly requested video, but a video that you really, really want. And that is that you want me to embarrass myself in front of all of the internet, which is great. I really appreciate that, you guys. So, in my last Q&A video, I actually got a question asking me about writing and writing fanfiction, and I unveiled that I had written a self-insert fanfiction in ninth grade where Leo Valdez was actually my love interest. And from that, a lot of you asked me to share the link, and that got me thinking. So thank you to whoever asked me that question in the first place. Um, I'm going to expose myself thanks to you, but thank you for the video idea. So I asked you guys to vote on three different possibilities. One, if you guys just wanted me to send you the link so you could read it by yourself. Two, if you guys wanted me to read it for a video and embarrass myself forever. And three, if you wanted me to burn all the evidence and delete my Wattpad account. Unfortunately, only one person voted for that last one and only about 25% of you voted for me just putting the link somewhere. So that's it. Today I am reading this fanfic and embarrassing myself, which is fun. But I'm doing a little cameo today. You probably haven't noticed, but I'm also simultaneously doing a video where I dress up as one of the seven for each day of the week. Today's the first day. And let me know down in the comments if you can tell who I'm supposed to be dressed as. Obviously, you can only see my top half, but uh, just to let you know, down below, I'm wearing mom jeans. I don't know if that helps, but without further ado... Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so before we start, I feel like a little context is necessary for this whole experience, so let me set the scene. So. I was in ninth grade. I was actually living in England at the time and I went to school, an American school, so all of my friends were basically all American. And I had three best friends at the time and I had just read the Percy Jackson series and then the Heroes of Olympus series and I made my friend McKenna read the Heroes of Olympus because she had read Percy Jackson but she stopped because she didn't know there was another book after that. And then I forced my other friend, Brooke, to read it and she got to the Battle of the Labyrinth. Brooke, what a trooper. Thank you for making the effort and indulging me. And then uh, I think my friend Julia had already read it and she started reading The Heroes of Olympus with me. So thanks to my crazy, crazy obsession with Percy Jackson in ninth grade, I got all of my friends involved in the fandom. And basically one day, I don't know what prompted this, but I just started writing. So just to let you know, the main character's name is not Thelia. No, it's not my name at all. I actually went through a phase where I didn't really like it. So it's a self-insert, it's me, but her name is Ella because apparently I really like girl names that start with E and I just really wanted her name to be Ella. So my name is Ella and then my three best friends ha still had their names. And in this fan fiction, we only had two established relationships. So McKenna was dating Will. Uh, yes, you guessed right, Will Salas. So I was really deep in it, man. And then Brooke was dating someone else, I think I think Brooke was dating Travis. You know, Travis Stoll from the Stoll Brothers? And then uh, my friend Julia was dating Liam from One Direction. So it, 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 just, it just gets better and better. And obviously, oh wait, I don't think she was dating Liam yet. They were flirting. And Leo and I, obviously, we were the main couple. So we weren't dating yet, but we really liked each other. So first of all, let me see how many chapters there are so I can choose which ones to read and which ones not to read because obviously you care about the ones with me and Leo. That's what you come here for, for the OTP. <laughs> so obviously the fanfic is called Live, Laugh, Love because I was a white girl in an American school in ninth grade. So what else could it be called? So this fanfic started as a self-insert of me and my friends with love interests in a boarding school. And then uh, my friends left. So in... <laughs> Sophomore year, I went crazy by myself, and I had this crazy idea that I could turn this into a superhero uh, self-insert fanfic. So a lot of a lot of weird things happened, but I I don't think we're gonna get there because it gets really complicated from from there. So we'll just we'll just stop when it gets real weird. Okay, so the first chapter I don't have chapter names for the actual live laugh love. So the first chapter starts, and I wake up, and it's a Friday, which means that we get to dress in our usual clothing which is fun. 
Uh, and obviously, I go to the bathroom, I look at myself in the mirror, and I describe myself. Okay. When we finally get her to the bathroom, I saw myself in the mirror. Also part of my English because it wasn't very good at the time. My wet, brown, slash ginger hair falling on my shoulders. I wondered how it had grown so fast. Last month, my wavy hair... My hair has never been wavy. <laughs> ...didn't reach my shoulders. My chocolate brown eyes looked very excited. Yes, I had art class next, and it was extended period, and we did get to wear something different from that stupid uniform, but I was also going to see him. And for copyright reasons, apparently, I don't know, I couldn't call him Leo Valdez, so his name was Leo Sherman. <laughs> My very best friend. <sighs> well, I was his best friend. He was something more to me. I can't. We had met at the beginning of the school year. Two years ago, I remembered it well. I started remembering that day as I brushed my hair and tried to put it into a ponytail. So I think we're going into a flashback now. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it till the end of the video. <laughs> Let's go into the flashback. I suddenly woke up in the middle of geometry. Everybody was looking at me as if waiting for an answer. But what had they asked? I had zoomed out for a while. Then, I don't remember anything else. I had probably fallen asleep again. <laughs> Just things that I did that never happened to me in class. I was so socially anxious that I could never do that. I would die. Geometry class was like math time. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love math. Just not math class. <laughs> and don't think because it's you you're getting any special treatment from me, she said. Then turned to the board and she continued with the class. Great, now she'll tell Aunt Cecilia uh, why it was my aunt called Cecilia because I wanted to antagonize her and I hate the name Cecilia. Apologies to any Cecilias out there. I just, my name gets confused for Cecilia way too often and I have a complex. So, here we go. Oh, and by the way, my aunt is a principal. I was literally YN. Why was I YN? Okay, I don't get any special treatment though, but a lot of detention and after late school on Fridays, I looked over to my left and found Ned looking at me. Ned is broke, by the way. She smiled and giggled, and without any discretion at all, passed me a note. I read it. Hey, Ella, don't worry. Ms. Venture is just being herself. Are you okay? You look more tired than usual, and that's saying... Oh, how rude. <laughs> you just had a Red Bull. I, I have never drank a Red Bull in my life. I think they're disgusting. You should be all over the place. We should totally go to cinema this afternoon. I like donuts! <sighs> because Ned is so random. She's just so random, you guys. That's her one personality trait in this fanfic. We get to the end of geometry, and the teacher is like, Elizabeth, she said. She called me by my real name, even though everybody knew I hated it. Yes, yes, I said trying not to sound too impatient. It didn't work. Leo is coming. Leo is coming. Don't answer me that way. You say, yes, Miss Victor, she said, apparently waiting for me to copy her. Come on. Yes, Miss Victor. I said, yes, Miss Victor. I said mocking her, but I don't think she knew that. <laughs> Look, I know that you are smarter and cooler than my other students, she said, but I don't think she actually meant it. But who knows? Maybe she actually liked me and was only mean to me when there were people around. But you need to pay attention to me in class when I'm talking. I guess she didn't like me after all. <laughs> I was such an idiot. But I get straight A's, I replied. No buts, she snapped. From now on, you're paying attention in my class or I'll fail you. But Miss Victor, no buts. Now she's in a dead series. And to make sure you pay attention in class. Ooh, oh my God, what could it be? Oh no, please no. I knew where this was going. You are going to help Leonardo with his homework. Why couldn't I just call him Leopoldus? Literally, Rick wasn't going to find this uncopyrighted. Oh. I knew it. Every time someone got in trouble, blah, 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 blah. Hi, a kid my age came in through the door. I must admit, he was cute. He had curly brown hair, dark brown eyes, and coffee-colored skin. Ugh, okay. He wasn't very tall, but taller than me. That's a lie. Leo could never be taller than me, even back then. He had a childish smile, which showed right away that he was a fun guy. Yes. Here you are, said Miss Victor. We've been waiting for you for hours, she said, extremely exaggerating. Hasn't your class just ended, he said, which made me smile. That guy didn't know, Miss Victor. I'm going to let you pass because it's your first date, Sherman, she said, trying to control her temper. But I'm warning you, if your attitude doesn't change, I can guarantee you your grade in my class will. And that's not good, she said. Now, Elizabeth, it's Ella. I interrupted. She looked at me, enraged. Elizabeth, this is Leonardo, your new student. Leonardo, this is Elizabeth. And she will be helping you with your geometry homework after school from 3.30 to 4. I don't know what you could accomplish in 30 minutes, but okay. And no skipping. You will meet in here every day after school starting today. I hope Leonardo is a good influence on you. Do not corrupt him. I gave her a dirty look. And with that, she left smiling to herself. Chapter 3, the actual interaction. Hi, Leonardo said. Hey, so Leonardo, I asked. Well, yes and no. I prefer Leo. Okay, Leo, I have a question. 
I, I know this joke and I hate it. This who called you Sherman? Yes, it's my surname. I laughed so hard my face turned as red as his. Your name is Sheman? I said between laughs, I'm so sorry. This was my humor in ninth grade. Do not judge me. Well, thank you for solving the riddle, Sherlock. We both started laughing. Because obviously, this conversation is hilarious. Do you actually need help with your geometry homework? I asked. Not really. I'm actually pretty good at math, he said proudly. I hope so. I said, let's go. I walked out of the old classroom with my bag hanging on my shoulder, like a cool person who only hangs the bag on one shoulder. Wait, Leo sprinted and started walking next to me. Where are we going? Well, you don't need help, but we actually have to spend time together. I said as if it was the worst thing in the world. I'm also happy to meet you. He laughed. I laughed. I'm sorry. I laughed. Come on. I'm already 10 minutes late. I said and started going. Oh, I know where this is going. Where? I said. He said, but he still followed me. Okay. The journey to the music room wasn't very long, but it seemed like ages. Leo, even though he was kind of cute, I will deny I ever said that. Why was I at Cinderella? Why? He was also kind of hyper. But not like me hyper. Like super ADHD hyper. He couldn't stop moving his fingers. He was always touching his hair or drumming on his legs or doing weird things with them. What weird things was he doing? And then, anyway, the boy Leo looked cool. And then we get to the music room and then, wait, no, no, no. I found myself studying his brown curls, how they twisted and turned and then just ended. He looked at me and I blushed. I pushed him aside as he laughed at me. I laughed too. We started walking slower and talking about ourselves. He was an only child. His mom was Spanish and his father British. That's a lie. That's a plain out lie. Why do you lie? A strange combination if you ask me. <sighs> oh, then my backstory, obviously I was from New York because New York is cool, so. Uh, and then me being like, oh, my backstory, tragic. And then we get to the music room and I have some banter with my friends. I am like, oh, this is this here is Leonardo Sherman. And they all laugh because she man, obviously. Hey, Leo complained, but I could see he was trying to suppress a smile. Okay, okay, I said, this is Leo. I explained, no offense, she man. <laughs> Julia said, but why in the world are you here? Non-taken, Leo said sarcastically. And then I explained why he's here. And then we just go crazy because I wrote a song for our band. Obviously, besides each of us having love interest, which we didn't at the time in real life, uh, we were also not in a band, but yes, here. So I wrote a song and okay. So the daydream ends with that, uh, with Leo being super hooked because I am great at math. I am so charming and I am also a singer and I don't, Oh, I play the electric guitar as well, which I don't in real life. So obviously he's already simping for me because I was so incredible. And then my friends wake me up of like my daydream and then they're like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, I need to read this for context. Kenna, how many times have I told you that we are just friends? I complained, like a billion times. But when will you start telling the truth? We both know that you like him and he obviously likes you. Whew, see, Kenna pointed out, there it is, proof, because I blushed. Come on, she complained, I need gossip. The only thing interesting around here is Ned's relationship with Travis. And that's weird enough by itself. Hey, Ned said, Travis and I are a normal couple. Everybody in the room laughed. Why are we all such bullies? Okay, right, said Julia laughing as she came into the bathroom. But you'll see, Ella, how he acts around you, I mean. When you're together, it seems as you don't see or hear anyone else. And I know, art class is like, I'm not even there. You're in my art class? I joked, ah ha ha, funny. But you'll see, really. Whatever, guys. Whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, Kenna said. Not today, but someday I'll get you two together. You'll see. <laughs> and then, okay, so Julia's boyfriend was called Logan, but he was basically Liam from One Direction. So obviously, since I was YN, I needed a mean girl to be my antagonist besides obviously my math teacher and my evil aunt. So here we go. I think I just got to the art room and we're going to get another Leo interaction soon, so don't worry. But this is me versus the popular cool girl who is obviously a horrible person. Good morning, Elizabeth, she said, even though she knew I hated that name. The trick is not letting her get to you and never show hatred or fear. Well, it is indeed, I said, gesturing to the window, but I feel sorry for you, really. Isn't your hair going to get ruined? I mean, the blonde dye? Because back then I thought when you dyed your hair, the rain could ruin it. <laughs> What? She said. I knew she hated being told that she dyed her hair. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> but I knew she did. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I said. I started to apply. I heard you the first time she cut me off. Then why'd you ask? That was sure to get on her nerves. Goodbye, Elizabeth, she said and started walking away. But we just started talking. Come on. Right when I said that, someone creeped behind me and touched my shoulders. I did what anyone else would have done. I screamed my heart out. Ah! God, Ella, I'm not that ugly, am I? The voice behind me. I knew it well. 
and had come to love it in just a few months. Leo, I complained, but I could see he was trying not- Wait, wait, wait. Leo, I complained. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Sorry, he said, but I could see he was trying not to laugh. Come on, you only do that to me. I was like, I'm not like other girls. Oh, oh my God. Uh, for three reasons. First, your reaction is the funniest. Second, anyone else would have punched me, he said. That's not three reasons. I'm starting to think I should too. You're so nice. And third, because you are my best friend. Ooh, friend zone. That is depressing. And I didn't know guys could do that. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, I'm never doing that to anyone. It's the worst feeling ever. Caring, even loving someone a lot, but knowing that they only see you as a friend, and even worse, best friends, and someone you can't trust in is a horrible feeling. I was so dramatic. So dramatic. Yep, your best friend, I said smiling, a fake smile, but he didn't notice. Julia came in, blah, 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 nobody cares about Julia and Logan. Okay. okay, so I don't know what's happening, but we're making clay stuff. Hey, I whispered to Julia. Hey, she whispered back. Apparently, she wasn't getting it. Why aren't you sitting next to Logan? I hissed. Why aren't you sitting next to Logan? Julia paused and then shrugged. Don't know, she grunted. I sighed. Don't know. <laughs> All right, I paused. I paused, I paused. And a devious glint sparkled in my eyes. Logan, I shouted before Julia could protest. What are you doing? She whined. Mm -hmm. Mumbled Logan. Come sit next to Jules, I called. Sure, but why? He questioned as he stood up and carried over his lump of clay to where Julia was sitting. I'm just noticing that the dialogue I wrote is really reminding me of the dialogue in episode. You know, the app where you can kind of like choose a character and you get like to choose and you have to spend money if you want to get a good storyline. But why? I could write episodes. This is like basically the same vibe. Because I need to talk to Leo about a, um, a project we're working on and I don't want you to distract him. I fumbled, lying horribly. Luckily, he bought it. As Leo and I struck up a conversation, Julia and Logan began to chat. I don't care. Okay, Julia, mm, ma, 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 so they're flirting. Meanwhile, Leo and I. So what's the project we're working on? Leo raised an eyebrow, grinning. Um, about that, I said sheepishly, fake, right? <laughs> totally, I smirked. I'm trying to get them together and all that schnitzel. Leo laughed, mmm, schnitzel, and we both began to crap up, to crap up, and we both began to crack up, because we're hilarious. You do know I meant that instead of the S word, not the random German food, right? Oh, yeah, totally, he blushed. Leo's so cute when he blushes. I laughed, and then Logan said something that caught my attention. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is me talking to Leo. Can you help me? I complained. My clay was really hard to sculpt alone. Stupid hybrid ice cream cone. Sure, Leo laughed at my pathetic attempt to balance my sculpture in one hand while modeling it with the other. Leo stood up and walked around, so he was bent over my shoulder. So you can imagine this scene, you know, it, it's the scene from Ghost where he wraps his arms around her and they, they work the clay together. Yes, but in our class with people. This is one of the quintessential scenes, so you have to pay attention. Leo put one hand on each of mine, wrapping his arms around my shoulders as he did so. I could feel my cheeks heating up at the romantic moment. Luckily, Leo was behind me so he couldn't notice. Leo is the kind of guy who does this, all these cute moves, but not meaning them. Anyway, my face was bright red, not only because Leo's hands were touching mine, but because we were in public and anyone else could see. Get a room, a voice broke us out of the moment. Startled, my head snapped up and headbutted Leo's nose and mouth. Ah, he shrieked and left back. Michaela, I said angrily, nothing happened. So you say, she sneered and went back to sculpting her clay. Sorry, Leo, I apologize, and Leo smiled weakly. It's okay, it doesn't hurt that much, I grinned, but he winced. Are you okay, I asked for it. Now a lot of blood was coming out of his nose and upper lip. Yeah, it's just a little bit of blood, he said, dismissing it. I literally broke his nose, like, with my head snapping back into it. I have a really hard head, apparently. But even though he said it was okay, all I wanted to do was walk to the corner and hide my face. No, it's not. Let me see. I said as I grabbed his hands and took them off his nose. My head started spinning at the sight of blood coming from his nose. Not only his nostrils, and his nose was also a little bent. The last thing I saw before passing out was Julia calling for help. So yes, I pass out at the sight of blood. That's actually pretty accurate to real life. I wake up, Leo went to the nurse's office, so obviously I go to the nurse's office. Leo had a bandage over his nose and a band-aid on his upper lip. Just seeing him like that made me want to run away and hide, but Julia, who knew me well, caught my hand before I had time to turn around and started to push me discreetly towards the door. When Logan saw us, he pressed, he suppressed his smile. He said goodbye to Leo and came over to us. He said hi and that it would be, have been awesome if he had gotten that on tape. Rude. Julia grabbed his arm and uh, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, Leo broke the silence. I'm sorry for making you faint. <laughs> I really didn't think I was that ugly, bringing back the joke. Yeah, he said, and I couldn't help but laugh at the old joke. 
I'm so sorry I broke your nose, Leo. And for fainting, it wasn't fair on you. I mean, you were the one with the broken nose, not me. Oh, it's okay, you didn't break it, it's just bent. And you hit my lip with your ponytail, so... And I don't blame it on you, but I do have a question. Yes? I answered curiously. Well, when Michaela shot it, get a room, you said nothing's happened. Do you wish something had? He replied, I hope my face wasn't as red as it felt. I had just broken, or whatever, this guy's nose, and the only question in his mind was if I wanted something to happen between us? I was about to answer when McKenna and Brooke rushed into the room. Obviously, cock blocking us, that's rude. So my friends come in, I banter with them, and I make them leave, and then, um, Leo goes. Well, I already asked, so I'm going to go for it, Leo started. I know that we are best friends, and I would hate to ruin our friendship, but I need to ask you, because if I don't, I will explode. What? <laughs> I asked, confused. Well, there are so many things I want to tell you, and so many things I want to ask you, that if I hold it in, I will explode. I guess my expression told him that I wasn't getting it. I was like, <laughs> Ella, will you go out with me? Leo asked. My heart skipped a beat. This was the moment I've been waiting for since we met. But because I'm me, instead of saying yes, I asked, uh, like, on a date? That must have sounded very stupid, because he started laughing. <laughs> yes, like on a date. Leo answered, laughing. He's always laughing. Then his lips turned into that childish troublemaker grin of his. <laughs> yes. I will go out with you, I answered. I couldn't believe this was happening, so I asked him another thing. Are you conscious, or have they drugged you so your nose doesn't hurt? He just laughed at that. I'll pick you up at six at your dorm, he said. Okay, bye. Ah! Oh, I don't think I can take any more of this, so that is it for today. It was tough reading it, and I thought there was a lot more moments with me and Leo, but it was a lot of character building this this two chapters or i think like seven chapters were just like character building like like building up the character dynamics and it was just so well done so uh, please leave a like if you like this video leave a comment telling me how cringy from a zero to a 10 this was please remember to comment uh, who from the seven you think i am and subscribe if you haven't already click that bell button so you get notifications every time i post and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye